When you're wiring a circuit on a breadboard, neatness counts. If you use color-coded jumper wires that fit precisely, you can see your circuit clearly and track down errors easily. There are two types of pre-cut jumper wires, the long flexible ones with little plugs at each end, and the solid ones that are cut into 1 10th inch increments to match the breadboard spacing. The flexible ones make it easy to build a circuit, but you end up with a rat's nest in which errors are very hard to find. On the other hand, the solid ones are color-coded by length, which is unhelpful. I want all my positive connections to be red, for instance, regardless of how long they are. Cutting my own jumpers seemed a hassle. It isn't easy to trim one quarter inch of insulation from each end of a teeny wire and to get the length exactly right. What to do? Instead of cutting the wire first and then trimming the insulation, I trim the insulation and then cut the wire. Start by unwinding some 24 gauge solid core wire from a spool and remove a generous arbitrary length of insulation by applying the wire strippers around point A. On your breadboard, measure how long of a jumper you need and then transfer this measurement to the insulation on your wire. In the diagram, it's the distance from A to B. Apply wire strippers at point B and drag the insulation along until it's one quarter inch from the end of the bare wire. Cut the wire at point C and then bend the stripped ends. Your jumper wire should fit precisely. Now make more jumpers from the remaining length of stripped wire. If you create a variety of jumpers and keep them organized by length, you can reuse them indefinitely. For more electronics projects from Charles Platt, be sure to pick up his book, Make Electronics. Thanks for watching.